Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and this is the fourth video in a tutorial series on building Alexa skills using Twilio Autopilot. Before continuing, please make sure that there isn't an updated version of this video. You can do that by checking the description. If you see a link to an updated version, please follow that link and watch that video, not this one. This stuff changes quickly and you don't want to be watching an outdated uh, tutorial. So with that, let's get back into it. In the last video, we left off and uh, we talked about collecting information from users using the collect action. And uh, so we, with the service, we, we did like a, a service rating um, example where the, um, well, let's go through it. Actually, we'll go back over here to the Alexa console and we'll just walk through where we left off. Hello, you can ask me for our operating hours or you can rate our service. And so Which we're rating the service? On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate our service? We'll say a 10. Would you recommend us to a friend? And we'll say yes. Thank you for your feedback. This is very important to us. Okay, so at this point, we're collecting the information through the assistant, uh, through the skill, but we're really not doing anything with it. So right now, what's happening is we're collecting this information, and um, after we've collected the information, after the collect action is done, we're redirecting back to this service ratings confirm task, this here. But that task, all it's doing is just speaking back this response. So it's really not doing anything. What we're going to talk about in this video is passing the um, data to a function, to a URL that can uh, actually work with the data. And what we're going to do is just for starters, just talk through wiring up the function. And actually Twilio has a really easy um, way to do that with uh, Twilio functions. And that's what we're going to use. So if you go in the Twilio console to the all products and services and then find the runtime service and then open that up in a new tab. I'm going to open it in a new tab so I can keep the assistant tab open as well. And then in functions, you can create a function that is um, going to also create a URL as an endpoint. And I created one earlier called demo assistant, but you can just click on this um, new function here and then choose blank and then create to create a new function. And I'll leave a link to the code that I'm gonna use for this video. I'm just gonna walk through redirecting the, uh, the results to a function. And then in the next video, we'll talk about actually writing some code to do something with the, that, uh, those results. So I'm gonna use this one that I created, this demo assistant here. And the, 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 the code is really simple right now. So all I'm doing is just responding back with a, I'll get rid of the Twilio, just responding back with this here, the function is responding now. So that'll let us know when we get this response back that the response is being generated by the function rather than by the task. And so to do that, I just need this path to the function right here, which I copied. And then if I go back over to my assistant over here, and go to this confirm task that uh, right now is just responding with this. And I'm going to change this up to redirect to the URL for that function. And that looks right. And I'm going to save that. OK, and now if I go test it, I should get the result from the function and let's see if we do. So we go back over here and um, try this again. Hello, you can ask me for our operating hours or you can rate our service. Which would you like to do? On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate our service? Would you recommend us to a friend? The function is responding now. Okay, so now rather than the task responding with the um, say action, we're using the redirect action and we're redirecting to the function and we've got the function responding. That's it for this one. This is a, this is a, a short part for this tutorial. In the next part, uh, that'll be a little bit longer, we'll get into actually doing something with um, that data and working with the request that comes from 
Twilio autopilot and uh, maybe save it into a database or do something, uh, something like that with it. So hopefully this was helpful. And um, if you did find the video helpful, please like it. And if you're not subscribed to the Dabble Lab channel, please do subscribe. Thanks so much.